Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to install your Epson 7890 as a shared printer on your network. The first step to this is going to be to actually install the printer as a Windows printer on your server, or what we're going to call your server. This is simply the computer that the printer is going to be physically connected to. Just install the drivers, as followed by the driver disk, and then go into your printer list. You want to right click on the printer. We want to go to properties, or printer properties in Windows Vista and Windows 7. We're going to come over to the sharing tab. I'm going to share the printer and I'm going to give it a name. Um, easy name to remember, I'm just going to type in 7890 and hit OK. Once we have the printer installed, or once we have the printer shared, we're ready to set up the client computer. Now on the client computer, we're going to want to open our printers list. I'm going to right click and tell it to add a printer. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to add a network printer or printer attached to another computer and hit next. And I'm going to tell it to connect to this printer. Um, I'm actually going to type in the name of the printer that I've got. Or you can simply tell it to browse for a printer and hit next and look for the printer in the list. Now the printer, I, the computer I installed this to was Smallville and the printer was actually the 7890. So I'm going to select this from the list and hit next and hit yes. Now Windows will actually go out to that computer and download the driver from that computer and install it as a shared printer on this computer. A lot of times when you're doing things in, uh, with Windows, you can get some long pauses in some of these applications. Give it some time. As you see here, eventually it will come back. Uh, it's going to give me the option to select this as my default printer. I'm not going to it this time. I'm just going to hit next and then finish. And you'll now notice we have the Epson Stylus 7890 on Smallville. That's our shared printer. At this point, all we have left to do is configure the printer and the application for sublimation. Now, if you're going to print from both computers, you want to configure both computers. If you're going to print just strictly from the client and not from the one you have it physically connected to, you only really need to program the client computer. If you have any problems or any questions with this or anything else we sell at Condi, please give us a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2, or send us an email to support at condi.com.